to Musicology's startup tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you all of the features of Musicology and what all of the buttons do. So first I'm going to connect to a call. Here's my student today, looking great. Now when I want to end this call with a student and get ready for my next student, I simply press the end button and open up my room list and then click on the next lesson. Up here on the right hand corner we have a lock button. This will lock student controls if they're getting too button happy. The help button will send you to our FAQ page, our video for building student rooms, what devices can be used. We are available for a downloadable app for iPad or a web app on Chrome for any other device. We have YouTube tutorials. We have a fantastic Facebook group too. Over here is the settings menu. So this will show all of your audio input source, your audio output source, and your video input source. And then we have our ever popular emojis. We change these seasonally as well. So now we have Halloween because we're recording this in October or sorry, September rather. It's almost October though. <laughs> you have your usual mute button and your disable camera. Toggle video options. Whenever you see a plus sign, that usually means that there are some hidden icons there. We just try to keep the screen as clean as possible. So the first one is a pop-out remote user video. This is for screen share, and this is so that your student's video can float around the screen while you're screen sharing to them. Hide local video will get rid of your own video. You can also move your video around. You can flip the orientation, and then you can snap it back into place. So I'm going to move mine so that my right hand is on the right side for my overhead camera. Speaking of overhead cameras, this is the next button. So the next camera will switch to your overhead camera view. Now I see that my orientation is off, so I'm going to fix that and just press that button there. The two arrows will flip the orientation. Next, we have the swap local and remote video. This will enlarge your screen so that you appear bigger in case you're holding something up. Full screen mode, and we can exit full screen mode. Down on the left hand side, we have our whiteboard. So here we have our tools options. I'm going to minimize that to get that out of the way and I can bring that back up by simply pressing that bar there. You can draw on the whiteboard collaboratively. There's no extra settings. You can use the slider to increase your width and you can change the color as well. Then we have an erase button. So you can erase the items that you drew, or you can press the undo and the redo. Over here is a selector button. So this allows you to select an image, move it somewhere else, and then drop it there. This is really good if you're playing some kind of board game on the screen. So you can make your width bigger for your pencil icon. You can use your selector tool to select the image and move it around the game and drop it. So that's a lot of fun to do with your students together. There is a straight line. Or there is a circle selector if you want to highlight a group of notes and some music. There is 
the long square selector. So you can do all sorts of things. You can lock your student out from pressing the emoji button here. Over here in the middle of the screen on the right hand side is some more hidden icons. Now I want to get rid of these images. I'm going to press the trash can. This lock button will lock your student from doing drawings when you don't want them to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my screen over, grab this multi-page document, bring my screen back, and I'm going to pick which one I would like to upload. So I'm going to go with spelling bee here. I'll click upload to whiteboard. Now I'll position it over here. I'm going to move my student's video out of the way. And I'm going to resize it, add to background. Now, I think I wanna have another file. So I'm going to grab, let's see, maybe something from the screen here. Here we go. Let's do some dynamics. This is a screenshot that I had taken before. So I'm going to position it on the screen again, make it bigger, and click Add to Background. So now I have two pages here to work on. This is great for doing theory, or if you have multi-pages, you can line them up however you like. And then what you can do is you can save them to the student's room. Theory multi-page save and then they're there for you so now if I go and delete this I'm able to pull them up over here so I've got them here now on the screen I'm going to resize them and then click add to background so then it's really quick if I want to play these um, pieces again now, I can draw all over the screen, and if I want to keep my image but delete the drawings, I simply press this clipboard icon. Now I want to get rid of the file that's on here all together, so I'm going to delete it. This icon here that looks like a flying music note is our grand staff image. So what I'm going to do just make it a bit smaller so that it fits onto my student's screen. So you can see that there's a dotted line going around the edges. And what this does is it'll share the smallest screen participating. And that will tell me that when I'm putting an image on the whiteboard that it will fit onto my student's screen perfectly. So now we have a grand staff image here and we can draw notes together. And now I can delete it. All of your files are all in here. If I want to go back to the home screen now, I press the back button. So now I'm going to open up the grand staff. Here's our grand staff. Here's my student waiting here. I'm just going to enlarge the video a bit by pulling the side of the video. I have my MIDI input source over here. I can change the instrument sounds on my side as well. So now you can play this on screen or you can play it on your piano. Now if I don't want to have both sounds playing at the same time, the screen sounds and my piano, I can mute my keyboard up here. Perhaps I want to change the color, so I'll go down to this rectangle and maybe I'll pick red. This is great for visualizing where notes are.
Next we have this button over here that looks like a rainbow. This one's a lot of fun, so it will change the key colors. <laughs> If I want to take the labels off the keys, I can press the ABC button here. If I want to put them back on and maybe change the sharps to flats, I can change them here. If I want to adjust the volume of my piano, I can do that here. So now it's off completely. Now, over here, there is another flying music note. This will open up our notes menu. I like to call this the color pop palette because it kind of pops out and it's colorful. So you can select, uh, we have a uh, eighth, sixteenth notes. We have quarter notes and a whole note in there. We have some eighth notes. You can build melodies with your students by clicking on the one that you want in the menu and then sliding it to where you want it on the grand staff. You can add in dynamics, a repeat sign, and your student can drag them around too. So you can simply just line them all up at the top and ask them to place them. This line here is for middle C. Then we have a bar line, extra ledger lines, extra dynamics, all sorts of things. We have numbers that we can go and place down on the keys. And you can do a lot of things. We've also put in some plain circles as well so that you can show triad structure or skips and steps. We have some emojis for the kids. So they're all a lot of fun. Um, I really like using this for asking my students to copy a bar of their music, maybe their new song that they're a little nervous about learning and just going and putting it in here and playing it on the keyboard seems to reinforce things. So that's great to do. If I wanna delete something, I can just click on it and then press the minus sign if I want to delete everything that I put up there, I can click the trash can and then we're all ready to start fresh again. You can give your student an emoji for doing a great job as well. These are really great rewards for them. You can also lock them out. Now the keyboard won't lock. This was a request from a few teachers, so we decided to put that in so that the students didn't turn on the, the labels <laughs> to get the names of the notes. So that's the grand staff. Next we have a metronome here. We have cat meow, sounds. Meow, 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 meow. Or dog sounds. And the metronome is great because the audio is pushed from the student's side to the teacher's side so that you'll always hear what they are clapping with. Here is our screen share button. So I'm going to go to YouTube over here, just get that ready. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the globe button. You see it turns green. Here's our Google Chrome screen share. You can share an entire screen, a window, or a Chrome tab. So today I'm going to share my Chrome tab, and this is where you have your share tab audio. So I'm going to click share, my audio sharing. Now what I'm going to do is, before I get to starting my video, is press the pop out remote video. So now I can see my students' reaction to what I'm showing them. Now when I want to stop screen sharing, go back to Musicology here, I can click the X to get rid of that pop out video, and then just click the globe again. So it's pretty quick, you get used to it after a while, it's a great feature. 
Next we have our guitar fretboard here. So this one's a lot of fun to do too. Um, it's basically like the grand staff, but you have guitar, you have ukulele, you can put the labels on the strings as well. We have our color pop palette with our tab numbers. You can build things in there. We have numbers down here so you can place them on the strings to show chord positions. You can place items on the staff here to ask them to play that. There's a lot of things you can do with this feature. And again, if you want to get rid of those, you just click on them, press delete, click delete, or trash can will get rid of everything. And then you can give them an emoji for doing a great job. And that is all of the features of Musicology. Unfortunately, I'm not able to share the fantastic sound, but I can promise you it sounds almost the same as this. So it's like being in the same room. We have full duplex audio, um, layered sound. It's very similar to a phone call, extremely low latency. It's all um, internet dependent as well, but it is better than traditional video conferencing platforms because we do not go through a server. So you are skipping that step and going directly to your student. The video is crisp and clear. The audio is great. It's just a fantastic platform and I really hope that you have fun with it. Take advantage of the 14 day free trial and how just explore. You know, we kept it really simple and easy to use, user friendly, kid friendly. Your students are going to show you what every button does. It's very simple to use. That's all for now and I will see you again soon. Bye.